Hey guys, today we are going to use this WordPress Carousel beautiful plugin to create a carousel with images, posts, or maybe even products from WooCommerce store to our website. I have already installed it on our website. Here it is, WordPress Carousel. Let's just activate it and add new Caroso. We should name it first. Add a few images. We can also reorder them. And now we have settings. We are going to hide the title of the images. I want three columns on desktop version. In the carousel settings, I'm going to, for instance, disable autoplay, make the carousal direction left to right, show hide or hide on mobile navigation. Change the color, the tessera, then we have style settings where we can change the slide border, maybe the color, and click publish. This plugin creates a short code that can be used everywhere we want on our website. Let's test it. Here is our beautiful image carousel. Now let's create post carousel. Just choose post from carousal type and add a filter. The only one that is available is latest posts. We can limit it to 10 latest posts. I want it to be 15 latest posts. And we have some settings here. I'm again make it to 3 or 4 columns. order ascending descending I don't want to use preloader we can leave autoplay on for posts at Ezra. let's publish it and test it here is the posts carousel It doesn't look very beautiful because of the excerpts that we have on our posts, so I'm going to remove or shorten up one excerpt. Also, I don't want to show the post date or the post author. And I'm going to update the post carousel and review it again. Also for this website maybe it is better to show three columns. And with this plugin options we can make it look just as we want it without buying the pro version. Also, WordPress Carousel works with WooCommerce products and it's a very helpful option that comes with this plugin and can be used on themes that are not created for WooCommerce or maybe created for WooCommerce and we can have product carousel on our homepage or every other space that accepts shortcode. 
We don't have WooCommerce installed on this example website, so I'm going to show you how it works here on the plugin website, which will be added in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.